Jess Evan, that's right. Attorney General Mike Hunter told me today that his office has doubled the amount of people working on this. He also says they're working closely with the Secret Service to try and track down whoever's responsible. It is uh, it's a difficult challenge, again, given where this stuff's coming from. With more fraud complaints pouring in, Attorney General Mike Hunter says it's likely victims have had their personal information stolen in recent data breaches. And this stuff all resides on the dark web. And so there's actually a uh, commercial <laughs> enterprise on the dark web what, what, where they will sell to criminals. Other criminals will sell to criminals this information. And then it's he says the thieves only need a little of your information to start the fraud application in your name. So name, address, last four digits of your social. Of course, it then goes to your employer, and your employer's responsibility is to, is to quickly respond to the OEIC and tell them it's fraudulent. They're simply pulling from two databases and inundating OESC, hoping that somebody fails to respond. Local business owner Ed Evans tells me employers have 10 days to let OESC know if the claim is real or fake. If you don't respond within that time period, OESC then believes that it's a valid claim and they pay it. Ed tells me he's had to deal with more than 100 fraudulent claims so far. He says it's time consuming to get that information back to OESC. But you know, it takes 10 minutes for every one of these things that comes in because you've got to go first look at the name, go through your database and find out did this employee actually ever work for me at any point in time because it could be a valid claim. He says this could hurt a lot of small businesses. Because if you suddenly get inundated and don't respond to these things, when you get your unemployment insurance rate from the state next year, it's going to be astronomically high and, and you're not going to be able to pay it. In Oklahoma City, Paris Jones, KOCO 5 News. <laughs>